I'm Peter Block here at TCT 2019 for ACC.org in San Francisco, beautiful place. Uh, with me is Vino Tarani. Vino's an old friend from memory. He went to Washington, D.C., and now he's come back to Atlanta. So congratulations on Thank coming you. back. Vino, we're delighted to have you back in town. So Vino has presented the Partner Two-Way Long-Term Follow-Up. And yes, it's an old valve that we don't use anymore, the XT. Uh, yes, uh, who really cares? But the fact of the matter is there are important messages here. So let's talk about this five-year follow-up, Vino. What are the important things to know about this valve that you've learned from your trial? So thanks, Peter, first of all, for having me uh, on this. Uh, one of the things that I like about what we've done with a five-year, and by the way, we're going to do a 10-year, too. So we haven't stopped at five-year. We're going to continue to follow these patients to 10 years. What we have learned is that the aortic valve area hasn't deteriorated in that five-year time period. The mean gradients haven't deteriorated in that five-year time period. And that's something we were all we were both worried about when we put the valve you in. You know, right? I will tell you, in 2007, when we did our first tavern together, everyone is scratching their head and saying, what a stupid idea. You compress the valve. It's going to deteriorate in a year. Answer, we're not, not exactly. We're not happening. Yeah. So that, I'm very happy to see that. Yeah. And that I think that myth is starting to now go away. Yeah. Good. So uh, that's an important part. The valve seems to be functioning well. Now, there's this issue of leak. Let's talk about that. Right, and remember, there are a couple of things that are um, caveats about Partner 2A we should remind ourselves about. One, it was based on transthoracic echo, not CT planning. Till the very end, then we realized how good CT is, number one. Number two, transfemoral, which is now 96 to 97 percent of patients we're doing now are transfemoral. In that, in this study, the two-way study, 75% were done transfermal. So we did a lot of TA. Yeah, TA uh, in terms of aortic is dead, right? And it turns out that that really isn't yeah. the great solution right. anymore, right. right? And so the other thing that we learned is that leaving PVR is bad. So if you have none trace, if you have mild, you do okay, and there's no difference at five years between the up mortality. However, if you have moderate to severe PVR, that's a bad thing. And if you, especially in our time period in this 2A, we didn't correct it necessarily. Yeah. So if you have it, it's really bad. You got to fix it. Don't have it. Be vigilant about yeah. that. And number two, treat it. Don't yeah. let just the patients go yeah. with moderate severe PVR. You know, I think as I looked at these data, you know, that's the most, probably the most important message to take away. Now, granted, the new valve, the X3, uh, Sapien 3, sorry, seems to be a little bit better as far as paravalve leak is concerned, but a lot better, right? I mean, yeah. we've shown in um, yeah. in two yeah. publications now that you can have a moderate severe less than one yeah. percent. So I think that we've really nailed news. that down. Yeah. That's good news. But nonetheless, for everybody out there now, long-term follow-up, five years, great data, important stuff to learn about transcatheter valves in general. But if you've got a paravalve leak and so you're taking care of somebody that's got even a little, take care of it, try to fix it, and certainly treat it. Absolutely, agree. Thanks, Thanks Vino.